1 p.m. on Tuesday. Um, I've just been in bed. So far, I was able to sleep a bunch. Um, but I'm still in a lot of pain. I don't feel well rested at all. So I can't kind of... Um, I'm supposed to go to pain management tomorrow, and um, I don't know if we're going to be able to go out, but I don't know. It's not, I'm just looking forward to being in less pain at some point this week. But I'm going to try to see my grandma today. I think I'm going to try to go back to Adrian's um, so I can be snowed in with him. So I actually am heading back to Adrian's right now. Um, I'll explain what's kind of been going on in um, whenever I at whatever I pick up the camera in the next. Um, but I'll see you back in Adrian's. So this is part of the reason that I came here. So he has off from last Wednesday night to Saturday and I ran like the risk of um, not being able to come back for like three days and you know obviously I would want to just spend the extra time with him while he's on vacation and stuff so it was just too risky that I would have um, I would have missed a, a handful of days. Um, but the thing that sucks is that I have a pain management appointment tomorrow at like 2 and I'm waiting like weeks for this so I don't know if it's happening and I'm on no pain medication so I guess we'll see how this goes I don't know, I'm having oatmeal right now I want to do a whole bunch of research on tonics um, so that's what I'm going to do and Adrian and his brother Steven, the younger one um, are outside right now playing hockey, which is awesome. Um, you know, because it's a workout for both of them. So that's basically what's up. I got X. And that is what's up. I'll keep you guys updated with like the snowfall and all that fun stuff. So this is like totally random and like whatever, but um, you know, I'm just so disgusted with these shootings that have been happening like it's just been terrible and I feel like it's happening like just like left and right and um I, I just don't, I don't understand I don't understand what's going on and why people feel um like they need to do this but obviously that's coming from somebody who you know doesn't have homicidal thoughts um I read an dark read but I like it'd be my top three books that I ever read to recommend um, but um, I read a book like a year ago and it was um, the two guys that did the Columbine shooting one of them was um, his problems were rooted in depression and then the other one um, his problems were rooted in um, like being, like he was a psychopath um, and alone they probably wouldn't have done anything but together like they fed off of each other's like negative quality um, so the uh, the kid um, Eric um, he was the psychopathic one and um, Dylan was the like depressed one or the more depressed one and the one that wanted to, the, the one, Eric, sorry, who, um, who was a psychopath, wanted to just blow up the school and do mass destruction and then, like, knew he was just going to have to die as a result of it. But Dylan, the other one, um, wanted to die. He was very suicidal, but um, he, like doing the shooting was just what he had to do to kill himself. Like, they were doing it for opposite reasons. 
So Dylan's mom actually wrote um, a memoir and I don't remember what it's called. I think I'm gonna have to check, but it was so good. Um, was it a mother's love? I don't know. I'm gonna check. I went through this book so quickly. I don't have it. Yeah, I don't have it. Um, I'm gonna have to look it up though. And she actually wrote um, a book kind of explaining what she missed and she really wants to push for um, suicide prevention and she does so much stuff with suicide prevention um, because she feels like a lot of these shootings that happen are the result of suicidal thoughts, suicidal ideation and um, subsequently like homicidal thoughts and stuff like that. Um, so she's calling these types of shooter shootings murder suicides because you know they go in to kill people and then they leave being killed themselves and it's just kind of like these people are okay with it and um, it's such a good read um, I'll definitely tell you guys later when I can remember what the book was called it's dark but it really opened my eyes to a lot of things and it's opened my eyes to how like to look at these shootings that are just continuously happening um, but it, it breaks my heart too because it's really, really difficult to figure out a, a method that's going to lessen, you know, the frequency of all of this stuff happening. Um, so sorry, this was totally off topic, but I recommend that book so much. Um, it was so good. And she even put a TED Talks out recently. If you don't have that, um, if you don't want to get the book, it's like 15, 15 minutes um, on TED Med, I think, so um, it's really good, but anyway, I'm just really upset and disgusted that, like, and we, I don't even know what to suggest, I don't even know what to do, like, there's just so much bad stuff going on right now, it just, like, breaks my heart, but anyway. <laughs> hey guys, so it is quite late in the day, it's, um, like six um i got up took my first full-blown shower for like the past handful of weeks i haven't taken a full-blown shower um i've just been doing it in pieces um and it's still snowing it's snowing pretty bad but when i go back upstairs i'll show you guys what that looks like um that's pretty much it there's nothing really going on today Oh, no, actually I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment, but I'll tell you guys about that um, a little bit later. So I'm heating my anti-inflammatory tea up that I didn't finish last night, and I'm going to be making a big thing of tea um, in that so that I can, um, like they're really strong, so um, I can have more than one glass of it. So that is what is up right now, and we have basketball coming. Gotta head out for meds. This is gonna be torture. It looks so much better than it actually is. This could be interesting. I'm only wearing these shoes. Moccasins. So. The main roads. The main roads are better than the side streets. Yeah. It's not great or something weird. So. This is crazy. This is worse than the bomb cyclone thing yeah. that we had. That was not fun, but this is so much worse. Okay, so I'm gonna go upstairs in a little bit and just quickly show you guys what it looks like outside. Um, 
Also, I think I'm wearing the cutest outfit right now, even though it's like super lazy. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the snow and then explain what happened today with my doctor's appointment. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so it's hard to see, but if you look at the chair over there, that's like a normal size chair and it's almost up to the seat. Um, and then like all around you can see everything is really, really high up. Okay, so I was supposed to see my pain management doctor at four, no, 1.45 today. It didn't end up happening. They called me to see if they could schedule it earlier. So we were gonna go in and get there at like 10.45 or something like that. And we tried to go out there because it's out on Long Island. Um, so we tried to go out there and people were like losing control of their cars and it was snowing really badly already. So we ended up turning around and coming back. Um, but I ended up kind of doing the appointment over the phone and um, he basically, I'm coming off the tram at all because that's obviously like lowering my seizure threshold too much. Um, and the reason that I caught the tramadol was because the medication I was supposed to have was um, the factory was destroyed. And what I found out today is that the factory that was destroyed was um, the factory in Puerto Rico. And there were a like a bunch of other factories that um, Puerto Rico made like IV packs um, and stuff. And we ran into a really bad shortage because obviously of the hurricane that was like seven or eight months ago. Um, so I um, I couldn't get the, the medication specifically that he wanted and that's why we were doing the tramadol but he's going to put a prescription in for the same medication I was on before the tramadol but instead of, instead of it being an extended release it's going to be like every six hours or whatever it is. Um, and um, yeah, I just have to talk to my neurologist tomorrow, make an appointment um, for next week, and hopefully get my prior authorization for my pain medication so I can pick that up. Um, and that is about it. I'm sorry that today was boring and the past few days have been boring. Um, still, you know, still just struggling. So. Um, and I don't want all my vlogs to be completely medical, but yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow, and I think that's it. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.